we're back in the attic. So uh, today we're going to be changing out this uh, zone damper actuator. Uh, it's pretty much dead. I've already diagnosed it another day and I'm back here to change it out. So this is a quick clip on zone dampers. So these are Honeywell's. So these are nice because you can actually just pull this off and then pop on the new one without having to replace the entire damper assembly, uh, which is very time, uh, which is a very big time saver. Sorry, it's hot up here. So let's see, I got my thermometer up. So it's about, what is that, 114 degrees? 100, no, no. Yeah, 111.6, still rising. Uh, and then the worst part about this attic is the access is way over there through that through that hole over there. So yeah, it's, it's pretty fun uh, to crawl over here. Um, but anyway, uh, it's hot. So I'm gonna sh shut up and get this thing installed. So uh, here we go. Okay, so the way these, these work, now this is a Honeywell system, is these dampers are power close spring open. Now the problem with this one was uh, that it wasn't springing open, so it was stuck closed all the time. So what I did was I, for I manually forced it open and disconnected the wires. Uh, that way, I don't want to lose this wire nut, that way they always get air. So better to always have air than to not have air. Um, that's why they're power closed. That way the idea is if the board fails or whatnot, it, they'll just pop open automatically and you'll still have air coming through. But in some cases, especially these older models, the spring, it gets stuck and it just won't spring close unless you come up here and move it. But then once it opens uh, or closes again, it's stuck closed again. So that's why I just disconnected it. So we got the new one. This is the M8470 zone damper motor. Um, so, and these things operate on 24 volts. So whenever, so right now I have zone, th this is zone one. I have zone three uh, enabled and I just have the fan running. That way it's gonna send 24 volts to close this one. And then I can test the new one. So basically I'll hook it up and what'll happen is it'll close. And then if I remove power, it'll pop open. So I'll be able to test to make sure it opens and closes. Uh, Cause this one doesn't, um, this one actually doesn't have an indicator, but the new one does, so you'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one off, and then we'll go ahead and install the new one. Okay, so to remove this, you're gonna need a uh, Allen wrench, or Allen key. I'm not sure what size this is. I'll flash it up on the screen. Uh, and then you have this guy down here. Um, let's see this right here. You're gonna loosen that, and then you just take the whole thing and pull it towards you and it should come right out. So let's go ahead and do that. And this can tell you the position. So right now the damper is closed so, and then this is open. So yeah, that's how I could tell if it wasn't moving. So all we do now is we just need to loosen that like that. See? So yeah, you just gotta kinda pull it out and then that's it. Oh yeah, the spring's all broken on this one. See, it popped out of its section. So, all right. And then these right here, these are to control how far it opens. So if you don't want it to close all the way uh, or if you don't want it to open all the way. So when it's on a closed position, it'll only close like, let's say 90%. So you want 10% open. This is how you would adjust that. But anyway, this is the old one. So we're gonna get that new one in. Okay, so this is our new one. Uh, so you have three, uh, three, well, technically four positions. But basically, remember I was telling you how you can adjust how much it closes if you don't want it to do it all the way or just partially. Uh, this one's got presets, so you can set uh, zero, one, two, or three. And then it's got this little indicator. So right now this is in the open position. So when we put this on, we wanna make sure that our damper is in the open position. So turning it this way, it's closed. Turning it this way, it's open. So we need to make sure we have it open all the way. That way it'll correspond properly. And let's try not to lose my wire nut again. So anyway, um, let's get this thing on there. So we basically pop it on there and then we will tighten up the screw, uh, just like we removed it right there. And I have to add the screws in a bag, so I'll get that. Okay, so we got her on there. We're tightening it up. And then now we just need to hook up power. 
So that's going to be M1 and M6. So one's common. I think M1 is power close, and M6 is common. And then M4 is if you want to do uh, power open. So you can take this whole thing apart and reconfigure it, but uh, we're going to leave it this way. So we got our first wire plugged in. Now we're going to plug in our second one. So I should be getting 24 volts to this right now. So when I plug this in, we're going to see this close. All right, so we are getting 24 volts to close. And as you can see, the dial is moving. And it's got a little light to tell us that it's closing. It's going to kind of blink, sort of. Sweet. Now, the reason why it's not to zero is that's because that means that our damper is not lined up properly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen that screw in there and let it get to zero and then tighten it down. Okay, so we made our adjustment. As you can see, it's at zero. I'm gonna go ahead and remove power now. and Make sure that it closes properly or opens all the way. Okay. As you can see, it's springing open. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and close it all the way. And looks like it's good. So we're just gonna make sure it hits that zero position. Now, if you want it to, uh, because you have a static, you know, you don't want your height, your static pressure to build up too much, you can set these to different presets. There's zero, which is all the way closed. There's one, which is partially closed. Two, which is, you know, a little bit more open. So, yeah. So, but we're, we, in this case, we're going to go to zero. So, but it's a lot easier to switch. And there we go. And as you can see, it hit zero. It's completely closed. We've opened it and, and closed it, so we know it's good. So we're going to go ahead and crawl out of this attic. That works. So make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am, and hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.